Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in. If you're new, come join me. Pisces, we're doing your reading. So if you have your sun, moon, rising, or Venus in Pisces, this could resonate with you. All right, I'm going to start off with some angel answers for you guys. Get you an oracle card. Do some tarot. Maybe throw some kipper in here. Oh, I got Leo looking right at me at the bottom of my other deck. Ooh. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo. Let go. This is going to be for mid-month November, but really technically it's for whenever you find this video. It could resonate for you because time is fluid. This might not be your reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let go. Ask for help from others. And it's a no. <laughs> so something's a no. We're going to clarify all of these too. I thought I had enough space, but I don't. Okay. Let me get this one. This is going to be your oracle card that I'll read at the end. Inner core. So that's going to resonate with you somehow, some way. We hope. My candle is just in the way. Okay. Everything feels like it's in the way right now. So you could be having a hard time organizing, getting things in order. Something could be impeding on your space. All right, let's go. What does Pisces need to let go of? Pisces, you need to let go of giving too much with the King of Cups in reverse. I just heard uh, giving fucks, giving too many fucks. You need to let that go <laughs> because you're um, holding yourself back from opportunities here. So you need to let something go here. Both of these are in reverse and I don't usually read reversals. All right. What is this? Ask for help from others or Pisces. The Empress. So you could be needing to ask your mother for help or some of you guys need to ask for help because you're so used to being the nurturer, the giver, doing everything, nurturing other people. So now it's time for somebody to nurture you, but you have to ask for their help. And then we got no. So this is clarifying no. The seven of wands, protecting yourself, defending yourself. So you don't have to protect yourself or defend yourself in this situation when you do ask for help from others. All right, let's go ahead and get in your spread. Tell me what I need to see, spirit guides, benevolent ancestors, universal energies. I am eternally grateful for your guidance. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so we got temperance. Somebody been putting in some work, balancing out their emotions. We got the five of coins. You could be feeling left out of something or having some type of lack mentality. Justice. The Justice card is usually karma playing out, uh, things getting back into balance, things being set as they should be equally. Um, some type of test. We 
got the hangman. With the temperance and the hangman being here, I'm feeling like there's some type of let me scoop this. Pause or delay because somebody's not understanding something. There needs to be a new perspective here. And this temperance card could be saying that the, the work needs to be done. There needs to be some balance happening here. Seven of Wands again. Did I say Seven of Swords last time? That's Seven of Wands. That came out before with uh, No. And it's coming in as the center of your spread. So somebody could be very defensive here. With the Ace of Coins again, too. Somebody could be protecting themselves so much that they're missing opportunities here. And I, there is something that you need to be protected from or you're already being protected. So there's no need for you to add extra defenses. You're going to get this opportunity, but you might be blocking. That's what I'm getting here. Four of Cups. If you're dissatisfied in a situation, you could be causing this disruption, this dissatisfaction yourself. Page of Swords. I'm getting that somebody's definitely trying to figure out how to get themselves out of a bind or out of some type of situation. Page of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck. Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody's not able to escape. Somebody's trapped. Somebody's in a situation or something they're trapped in and they can't get out of it without asking for help. But the people that you need to ask for help from, you're kind of blocking them or something. Or you don't trust them. You feel like these people have left you out in the cold. Somebody might be needing money to do something here to set themselves free. I do see an opportunity coming in for you. It, it looks like it's good karma with the justice and the ace of coins here. Right below the ace of coins, right below justice. So something could be owed to you, uh, spiritually owed to you due to some type of work that you've put in. I don't know what these page energies is down here. Like the page of swords is usually somebody spying, somebody's trying to figure out some type of information. Could be somebody going back to school, trying to learn something. Trying to figure out something, but this page of pentacles is usually my Part of a child, somebody, something's going on with a child here, or children. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and clarify. Show me temperance, there, guys. The hermit. The hermit is like seeking out the flaws within themselves, bringing into equilibrium the things that they need to work on within themselves here, which is also what the temperance is indicating here, that there's some type of balance that needs to be had. But with the hermit here, it looks like it's already been done. Like this is clarifying temperance. It's like you've already sought these things out within yourself and now you're working on balancing them out. You're doing the work to balance them out. Shadow work, whatever you want to call it. Whatever is hindering you within yourself, you're working on that, Pisces. Show me the five of coins. 
I'm also getting that somebody sees the flaw in something. Five of Swords and the Five of Coins. Whatever this was that was spoken, this, uh, The Five of Swords could be some type of uh, conflict, uh, trying to win at all costs. Somebody saying something or speaking on something to hurt somebody. And that's left them to being, you know, I just heard discarded. Uh, out in the cold, Five of Pentacles, Five of Coins. Then we have the Empress again coming out in your reading. But because somebody's been so nurturing and loving and caring and giving to others, justice is coming in. That's what I'm seeing. With this Five of Swords, it's like oh, that energy of the Five of Swords. It's like somebody got what they wanted, which was somebody else being left out in the cold. And somebody else could have already seen that this is what somebody wanted. Now spirits like be patient because justice is coming in for you. Karma is coming. Show me the hangman. Clean of swords. <laughs> I just seen this Queen of Swords cutting this hangman down out of this tree. Like, the stuck times are over because something is getting cut out. Someone or something is getting cut out. Somebody could have gained a new perspective. Or somebody might have cut something out and now they feel stuck, but a new perspective is coming in. Show me the Seven of Wands. I keep wanting to say Seven of Swords. So somebody could be being sneaky too about something. I don't know why I keep wanting to say the Seven of Swords, but it's the Seven of Wands. And now we got the Eight of Wands. So I'm getting that somebody's freeing themselves. The Eight of Wands is quick, rapid movement towards something, quick communication coming in. It's usually good news, good positive movement forward. And when we're coming from the defensive stance of the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands is kind of like releasing that energy and being able to move forward after having to defend yourself, stand up for yourself, or secure your ground. Stand your ground. Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, you've been working on something. That's why you're getting rewarded here. That's what I'm seeing with the Ace. The aces are like rewards from the universe of you putting in the work and doing the work, doing your karmic, paying your karmic debts. And this is your reward. This could be something financial coming in for you. I just heard a blessing, a financial blessing. Then we got the tower. So yes, the tower hit and this really um, made somebody want more or think bigger or realize like what they had wasn't enough or what they were giving to here emotionally wasn't enough and they needed more. Some Somebody realized something here. The lovers with the page of swords. I just heard Teach Me How to Love by Music Soul Child. Show me the way to something you want. Girl, I'm so lost. Who? Somebody could be learning something about a lover or learning something about love. The lovers can also be a choice. Oh, the moon. So something is being revealed about a child or about a new opportunity. Somebody 
Somebody could be starting a new endeavor that's putting them closer to their life path. Somebody could be starting something new with money that could be putting them on the right track to getting their rewards that they've been working for. Four of Pentacles here. So there could be some type of finances that's been held back from somebody. And now the moon is revealing what those finances are and that person is going to be getting it. I'm hearing a new stream of income. Now we got the emperor coming out. So we got the emperor and the empress. The divine counterparts. And the lovers here. I don't even know where this emperor was going to go, but we'll just put him down here too. If somebody's dealing with a love, a divine union here, this is coming in quickly. And I'm getting probably quicker than somebody expected. All right, let's do... Let's do some kipper because this is already going wrong. So Pisces, expect something to be revealed. Expect to have to wait on something and be patient for something. Um, expect a tower moment, something to shake your foundation. But it makes you realize that you weren't happy in the situation anyway. Um, also expect some kind of betrayal, treachery behind your back with these fives over here. But also expect that justice is going in your favor. And there is going to be some kind of quick opportunity that's coming in for you. And it could have to do with a romantic situation and money. High honor. Yeah, somebody took the honorable path here. Somebody did their internal work. Marriage. Man. <laughs> I'm getting that a lot of people is going to be jealous of a union here too. A gift. What did I tell you guys? There is somebody being bestowed a gift, 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 a gift upon here. What else? Yeah, I'm telling you down here, it looks like there was some type of money that was hidden from somebody and that's going to be coming back around. But And it could be due to you cutting somebody off. I don't know how or why, but that's what it looks like. Um, there's going to be somebody contacting you here real soon, real quick. Number 22. There's going to be some kind of body communicating with you, telling you about somebody stealing money from you. Oh, the coffin. Somebody stole the opportunity from you. That's over. That's ending. That's the indebted. We got mature man. So there could have been a mature man that passed or something like that. Or maybe a mature man that took something from you or that caused this hard moment for you. House with the lovers. Somebody could also be getting a deed to a house. Or moving into a house. False person. That's what the fuck I'm telling y'all. There is somebody that was lying, cheating, and stealing here. And it kept you delayed. It kept you held up, held back in some type of way. But now you're getting justice. You're being bestowed a gift from the universe. And something is coming out. Okay, um, let me do these real quick. These are my own cards that I made. I just want to get a stack. <laughs> Look, the first thing that came out is light. Like something, some light is being shown on something. Money. <laughs> Money is being shown. Bones? Oh, shit. I don't know what that's about. Can we talk? I feel like somebody's going to try to make things right. Yes. Yes, we can talk generational curse somebody might be breaking a generational curse hold me 
there's definitely some type of reunion happening here or coming together in a connection here or a deepening of a bond, maybe even going into marriage. We got spell work. Somebody might have been trying to keep you poor, keep you stuck. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, and there could be some type of perverted person in this situation. Oh, that just made me feel weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at inner core, your message, Pisces, which is number 18, which is nine, which is something ending, an ending. Solidity, stay constant in your endeavors. Do not stop your progress, which somebody was trying to do, obviously. Seek those who are reliable and solid. Keep your promises. The greater power is from the inside out. All right, Pisces, those are your messages. I really appreciate you guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below if this resonated with you. Um, subscribe. I appreciate you, and I am so grateful for you guys. Until next time.